I got a tutorial for you guys today, man. Um, I'm gonna basically be showing you guys my three favorite music video effects. Testing out my new microphone, and I shot a video the other day from my homeboy Krim. It's called Pain Part Two. I used three of my dope effects or three of my effects that I use a lot in that video, and I decided to share it with you guys. So check it out, man. As you see, I shot, I did this video in a couple hours. It didn't take me that long. I'm gonna show you guys the video right now. <laughs> Let me play it for you. Time to light up. First effect's gonna be like you know the flicker and flashes you see in a lot of music videos Don't nobody oh you one thing for sure though somebody wants you some things in life that we gotta go through don't give up though it's life trying to mold you we done been through it all we done been through it all through it all you my dog help a nigga see clip through the fog you was right there if i was five had an answer for me anytime i call damn we ain't spoken so long where do we go wrong but the story get deeper hold on when the one that you put your trust in they betrayed you and you start feeling like that they played you but i'm looking in the mirror like a mate all right so basically all three effects was just right there in the video so you guys can see that's one of the effects the little um flash and blur effect i'm gonna show you how to do that too stay tuned um first off let's get into the flicker effect as you see it's nothing but just chops so what you'll want to do is you'll want to find the beat. If you see, I started it somewhat on the beat or before the beat. And then you'll cut out. You'll zoom all the way in and you'll just use the C. C and V is the um, main control. C for cut and then V to actually move it. So when I edit, I go back and forth between C for cutting and then V for like moving and other stuff. I forgot exactly what it does. But if you're a beginner, C and V is the main tools you're going to be using. And then to zoom, you hold Alt and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Um, those are the main things I use. I, it's a lot more advanced controls, but just so you guys can see, basically I put cuts in the beat. Let's 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 do it back how it was before, you know. So essentially, this would be how it was before. And I just cut along each. Boom. And then take take out a frame. Boom. However many I need. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. And what you're looking for to trigger these is like hits and kicks and hi-hats and hi-hat rolls and stuff. And if you're a newbie, you can just go towards those. Just look for those and you'll be all right. You know, just do them on hits and hi-hats and you'll you'll be perfectly fine. Um, yeah. We done been through it all. See what I'm saying? Like I put an extra one right there because it was kind of a hi hat. We done been through it all. We done been through it all. And you'll see. We done been through it all. We done been through it all. Through it all, you my dog. Help a nigga see clip through the fog. And there we go. That's the second effect. All right. So for the second effect, basically what I did is I took the um, let me see. I took the frame. And as you see right here, it's going to play. It just kind of flashes and it adds like a double. So what I did is I just, let me delete that. I took this frame and I hold alt and I copied it up. I drug it over a little bit, right clicked on it, hit speed and duration. I don't think I speed and derated that one. I just drug it back a little bit. But it's a combination of all these effects. You'll go to effect controls, wherever it's at. Um, you'll click on the clip you want to a control and go to effect controls. And then you'll go to the blend mode and then you'll go to screen. And as you see, if you move it over a little, it kind of has a doubling effect. Through the fog. And then one, and then Basically, I should have showed you guys just third, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's the effect pretty much. 
But to seal it, you're going to use the third effect that my favorite effect. People keep asking me, how much, hey, bro, how do you do those flashes and all that stuff? Clip through the fog. You know, you see what I'm saying? How do you do those flashes, bro? How, how do you get those flashes? Clip through the fog. Well, it's nothing but an additive dissolve. Effects, video transitions, dissolve, additive dissolve. But the trick to it is you can't use it on two different clips or two ending clips. You got to use it on two of the same clips cut together, if that makes sense. Like, I cut that clip, and it's the same clip, and I cut it together. And you can change the duration of the flash, too, by clicking on the plugin and dragging it. If you guys can see. It's actually pretty dope. And the intensity, duration, and the type of flashes, it all depends on how far you drag this out. So you can have a nice, smooth flash like, like that. You or you can have a quick flash, like a really hot flash, really quick, if you drag it all the way in. But once again, it has to be on the same type of clip. And hold on, I'm messing up right here. It has to be the same type of clip over this. So it has to overlap the same type of clip. If not, it's going to do like a dissolve. It's going to fade into the next clip or do something crazy. In order to get the flash, it has to be on two of the same pieces of clip. And that's the whole key. And if you do that according to the beat, and if you do it strategically, you'll get something that but, looks like this, all those three flashes. But I, you my dog. Help a nigga see clip through the fog. You was right there if I was fog. Had an answer for me any time I call. Damn, we ain't spoken so long. Where did we go wrong? But the story get deep a whole long. Computer freezing. Only the one that you put your trust in, they betrayed you. Betray. And you stuff feeling like that they played you. But I'm looking in the mirror like I made you. I made you. Was going it, look, went it looks really cool on like those soloed out um shots where you zoomed in and the background's parallaxing. Like that's where this, it becomes killer when you do the doubles. And another thing you can do with it too is on the doubles, you can actually either add a keyframe and make it in time become bigger. Or you can just um, actually, how can I say this to you guys? Yeah, like add a, add a flash in the beginning or the end or let it transition through it. And if you do that, it'll just make the effect look better. And sometimes you can use either the same parts or different parts of the, um, the actual, the, the video clip. Like here's a random part I'll just use. You don't have to use the same parts. Like I'll take this and I'll use it again somewhere. See what I'm saying? And it still looks good. So So those are three easy music video effects that you guys can use in your production and just make it fire, man. Be artistic, stay creative. It's your boy Tater Director checking out. Subscribe. I'm at 560 subscribers right now and I need more. Yeah, all right, bye. Mm -hmm.